Okay, you just got absolutely nay-nayed by your brother in a game of Polytopia, and you want to know how you can absolutely slap him into the fifth dimension in the next game. We'll look no further, baby, because the Bean Stealer is here to help. In this video, I will explain the method you can use to never lose a game of Polytopia ever again. Let's get started. So the very first thing you need to do if you haven't already is purchase the Venger tribe. They're absolutely the strongest tribe in the game right now. However, if you don't want to buy them, that's okay. You can still apply the following method to your future games. The reason Venger is such a strong tribe is because they start with a swordsman unit and the smithery tech, which will allow you to train even more swordsmen. These swordsmen can absolutely yeet any other tribe you may come across with ease. While your enemy is busy whacking you with wooden clubs, you're showing them the sheer power of steel, baby. Okay, let's go ahead and hop into an actual game. This method will work on any map type and size, but I find that it really works well on 900 tile drylands maps. On turn zero, just move your starting swordsman and train a second one in case your enemy happens to spawn really close to you. Wouldn't want them sneaking up on you now, would we? Now this is gonna sound like a silly idea, but you need to make sure you explore rather slowly and carefully decide which villages you want to capture. Venger is the strongest tribe, but their economy early game is a bit weak. To really get that industrial blood pumping, you need to go straight for the farming tech. Farms are actually rather plentiful in Venger's wasteland. Farming will allow you to level your cities a couple of times and get your economy rolling. I can't emphasize this enough. Farming should be your top priority after training a second swordsman. Keep in mind your tech cost will increase with each new city you capture. So make sure not to capture anything until you get organization and farming. While you're at it, go ahead and research hunting and forestry. Having the ability to chop trees is going to allow you to be a bit more lucrative when it comes to upgrading certain cities. Now that you have farming and forestry, go ahead and capture cities willy-nilly to help your economy and level up your capital to level three. Make sure to take a city wall once you do to ensure it can be easily defended if need be. Next, your goal here is to get a giant in your capital. Not only are giants super strong and super tanky, you also get a monument for getting a giant in one of your cities. This monument can then be used in combination with farming to get another giant in another one of your cities, making you nearly unstoppable. Side note, you don't have to get the giant in your capital, but it'll save you some time since you've already leveled up your capital to level 3. Now it's time to reveal our secret weapon, Mindbenders. Mindbenders have got to be one of, if not the most overpowered unit in the game. The general idea here is to keep your Mindbenders behind your swordsmen, that way your Mindbenders can heal up your swordsmen while they're fighting on the front line. And who knows, maybe even convert an enemy giant if it gets too close. Plus the tech discount that comes with philosophy will help you pick up some more tech in the future if you need it. Also, don't be afraid to pick up chivalry if you need it. It'll allow you to tear through all that rider or archer spam you may come across. And guys, I'm gonna be honest, that's pretty much all there is to it. I tried this against some of my subscribers and they didn't even stand a chance. I believe we have discovered a method of polytopia strategy that results in a 100% win rate. I have included a bit more detailed information about this method in the pinned comment of mine down below if you want to do some more reading for yourself. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe for more epic polytopia tutorials, and join my discord server if you haven't already, link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video, have a spectacular day.